Today, I'm going to be making white chocolate French silk pie cookies. They look super delicious and they sound amazing. I got the recipe from someone named Becky Harden who runs the Cookie Rookie blog. So this goes out to you, Becky. I hope these are delicious. Let's make them. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Take a mini muffin pan that has 24 spots for mini muffins, lightly grease it. Now you need to take whatever your favorite cookie dough is, pre-made cookie dough, and for this recipe it's better to go with a dark one. Break off a chunk of it, and then split that chunk in half, and then roll that and push it down in the center. There you go. Continue this process until all 24 are filled. Now put these cookies into your oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until thoroughly cooked. It's been a little over 12 minutes and my cookies are thoroughly cooked. Now a great tip for this is take the bottom side of a shot glass and push down. Now using a butter knife, pop these out on a cooling rack so they can cool. Alright, I got them all out onto a cooling rack. The best way to do it is to just kind of hold it above them and pop them out with a knife. Let them fall a little. They shouldn't break if you cook them well enough. Now it's time to melt four ounces of good quality white chocolate. So put it in your microwave and microwave it on 30 second intervals. Okay. It should only take about a minute if you have a newer microwave. So this is melted at this point. Stir it until the chunks are gone and then just let it cool. Now in an electric mixer, you need one stick of butter, which is half a cup, and three quarters a cup of white sugar. And you're gonna need to beat these together until light and fluffy, which will take one to two minutes on a high speed. Now it's time to drizzle our white chocolate over this mixture. And your white chocolate should be stirrable, but not too hot. You don't want to waste any of this delicious white chocolate. You also need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. At this point, switch to a wire whisk attachment and then thoroughly mix it together. Now we need to add two eggs, but one at a time. And after each egg, beat on medium speed for five minutes at least, but never go quicker than medium. I knew that using a wire whisk added air to mixtures, and I figured, hey, we're whipping this for five minutes, it's really gonna help the consistency. But wow, look at that. That legit looks like a pie filling. That is amazing. I've never whipped something for so long. So I really do believe whip each egg for at least five minutes after adding it. It looks great. It looks so filling. It gained so much volume. All right, so there's our second egg. But I'm also gonna do one final run through with the icing spatula. Really make sure I get the sides down in there just so everything gets mixed thoroughly. Another five minutes. Don't go faster than medium. Awesome. 
Look how creamy that looks. It says after whisking in your second egg, continue for three to four minutes or until it's thoroughly smooth. Mine is looking really smooth, but I'll give it another minute or two. All right, now that it is all mixed together and smooth, take your little pies, your little cookies, take a tablespoon of your filling, roughly, and put it onto each one. Really, I'm just going to start doing uh, teaspoons after this. So maybe a teaspoon for each one, or two teaspoons for each one. Okay. And just continue until they're all covered. I'm thinking I should have bought an even bigger bag of cookie dough, because I really only used about a third of my icing for these. Oh well. At this point, sprinkle a few mini chocolate chips onto each cookie. Now get these into the fridge for one hour. That way they can cool and solidify.